Hello everyone, thank you for joining and welcome to this month's Connect with Control M. My name is Ryan and I am a technical support analyst. Today we will be troubleshooting some issues that might appear when using the Control M agent deployment tool. I would like to take a moment to introduce today's panelists, Froelen Reyes and Jose Luna. We recommend going to full screen mode by pressing the arrow button at the bottom right of the player. This presentation is available through the attachments tab at the bottom of your screen. For questions, please feel free to send it through the Ask a Question box, and we will be answering these at the end of the session. Here's today's agenda. We will start by reviewing the architecture involved with the Control and Agent Deployment Tool. I will then demonstrate a few issues that may surface when using this tool, how to fix those issues, followed by review. And finally, we will have the Q&A session. Please remember that the chat is available and questions can be entered at any time of this presentation. Here is the Control M Agent Deployment Tool architecture. First, we will need to download the Control M Agent installation package from our EPD site and put it in the Auto Deploy directory in the Enterprise Manager home directory. The packages will start with DRKAI, and it is very important to keep the file intact, including the file name as it's downloaded from EPD. The installation package gets transferred to the Control M server and from there to the Control M agent during deployment. Finally, the setup is executed by running a job on the Control M agent to install the package. These are the scenarios that we will address today during our demo. I will check the issue for when you're not able to upgrade a Control M agent due to the error, no matching package. We will also look at common failures during the deployment, such as disk space issues communications failures, and run as user errors. Now let's check out our demonstration. To start, I will try to upgrade one of my Control M agents running on Linux. So here we are in the Control M Configuration Manager, and we're going to click on Manage Deployment, New Activity, Agent Upgrade. All right, so we're going to give our activity a name, and we're going to choose the option to just transfer the package. Okay, as we can see here, I can't select my Linux agent, and in the comments column, I see the error, uh, or the, the message, no matching package. So I've already downloaded and copied my control and agent installation media to the auto deploy folder in my, uh, in my EM. But let's check that folder anyway. Okay, here we see the file extension ends with a lowercase z. Let's change that to a capital Z since that's what the deployment tool is expecting. Now I need to cancel this activity for the changes to take effect. Okay, so we can see now the installation media is detected correctly. Now I can select my Linux agent for the upgrade. Click send. Click, click on the package, click refresh, see where we're at. Okay, the package, package is being transferred and it's at 3% right now. So, a couple of things here. The package is being sent through the port that is used for communication between the Control M server and the Control M agent. And you know, the speed of the transfer could vary depending on your network performance. Okay, the package has been sent. At that time, you're going to select the activity click the install button. This will perform the upgrade. And let's click the refresh button to see what our status is. Okay, now let's check the prerequisites on the agent itself. 
Okay, it looks like it failed. The error says insufficient disk space or quota for the controller major upgrade. Please be sure you have 2.18 gigabytes. Okay. So it's very important that we validate that we have at least 2.5 gigabytes available on the controller major file system. This space is necessary to get the package, uncompress it, and perform the upgrade with minimal downtime. Let's check the space available in my control and agent. Okay, let's check the space available in this agent. Okay, so it looks like I only have 848 megabytes available. So I need to ask my Linux administrator to increase the file system or clean up any unused disk space. Okay, my Linux administrator has notified me that he's freed up some disk space. Let's check to see what's available now. Okay. So I now have 2.4 gigabytes available. Let's retry the upgrade. Fresh. Okay, so we're running the prerequisites on the control M agent. Okay, the transfer completed. Let's try the install. All right, click on the activity. Let's refresh. Let's see where we are. Okay. It looks like the install is uh, it's going through. Disk verification has been passed. Let's refresh again. Okay. Okay, it looks like the installation failed. Let's check the error. Testing communication with Control M server using new Control M agent binaries failed. Control M agent upgrade aborted. Please check the log and agent installation requirements. Okay, at this point, let's check the log, see why it failed. So we click on the deployment activity, right click, go to log. All right, this, this comes up here, which is uh, the deployment log. And let's scroll to the very bottom. Okay, here we see failed to send subject server status to CTM server. Server response, failed to initialize communication. Okay, so to, we see that there's a problem with the communication between the control and agent and control and server. So to validate the installation and deployment activity, it runs a test job behind the scenes and sends the result to the control and server to validate communication. So at this point, we see that that validation is not successful. So let's check the communication between uh, both the control M server and control M agent. Okay, now we're going to validate communication between the control M server and control M agent. On my left, I have a command line, um, uh, open up command line prompt for my control M server. I'm going to use, use the utility CTM diacom plus the agent name to test communication from the control M server over to the control M agent. What this will do is it will show us um, any kind of errors that the control M server has communicating to the control M agent. Now, uh, here it looks like everything uh, everything came back fine, everything succeeded. Now, on this side, this is my control M agent. I'm going to run a similar command called ag diacom. Now, what this does is it tests communication from the agent side going back towards the server. Now, we'll see if we have any issues here. Okay, so we can see that it's failing. If we check the ports from both outputs, we can see that the agent, ser agent to server port is incorrect on the agent side. The agent to server port must be 7005, but it is set to 7015. Let's fix this. 
So the tool that I'm going to use to fix this is CTM AG CFG. Choose option one for agents to serve report. Change it to 7005. Save. Quit. Now let's rerun the AG Diacom. Okay. Now communication is working correctly. Let's retry the install. Okay, to retry the install, click retry. Okay, this is running. Might have to re click refresh a few times to get the current status. Okay, so we're checking the prerequisites at the control and major. Okay, now we're activating the control and major upgrade. These are all good signs. Okay, it looks like the installation has been successful. As you can see, it is very important to validate that the communication between the control and agent and the control M server works in both directions in order for the deployment to be successful. Now let's try to upgrade one of the Windows agents. New activity, agent, upgrade. Give it a name and we're gonna to choose to just transfer the package. Select the Windows agent and send. Okay, so we can see it's determining the exact agent platform. Okay, so we're starting to transfer the package. Okay, we see the package is at 14% transferred. Let's do a refresh. Okay. Okay, it looks like our package is almost done. All right, let's try the install. So it looks like we have an error. Preparation script has failed. The agent works in log on as user mode, but the password for job owner CTM 900 is not defined. Okay, this error occurs when the log on as user parameter is set to yes in the agent configuration. So in order to fix it, we will need to set a valid run as user in the, for the deployment activity. So let's see, uh, let's check the existing run as user that we have for this agent. So back in TCM, click security, run as. Okay, I only have one run as user defined, which is administrator. Let's go back to the deployment activity and see what the run as user is there. To find that out, you right click on the deployment activity, go to properties. Okay, so the control M agent user here is CTM 900. We need to change this to administrator. Okay, so now let's retry the install. And let's hit refresh. Okay, there we go. Looks like it's running. Okay, so it looks like the installation succeeded. Now I'm gonna show you the logs generated by the deployment that could be useful to troubleshoot any other issue. Okay, let's start with the Linux machine. In the control and agent home directory, we have the BMC install directory. And inside there is a log folder. Here we could find the trace logs generated by the control installation. 
As you can see, the name of these files is BMC Control M Agent Install, and it contains the date and time for when the installation was performed. Let's look at one of these files. So, I mean, it's pretty clear. These, these files are real useful for troubleshooting. And it's a good idea to know where they are. As you may recall, I mentioned that the installation is performed using temporary jobs that run on the control M agent. Let's see the output of one of those jobs. So we are in the control M agent home directory in the CTM folder, and then inside that folder is sysout. Let's look at the auto deploy run. This is the log that we are concerned with. All of this information is copied to the deployment activity log. Usually the deployment activity log will be enough to diagnose any issue you might see that's responsible for the installation failure. But if we need more information, we can always check these files. This, this concludes our demonstration. Let's go back to our slides. As you recall from our first scenario, we received a no matching package error, and this was resolved by keeping the installation media intact, including the file name. We also face a deployment failure due to not having enough disk space. Remember that you need to validate there's at least 2.5 gigabytes free before installation. In our third scenario, we saw the deployment failing due to communication issues. Always validate that the communication between the control M agent and control M server works in both directions. Finally, we encountered an error because of an invalid run as user. So you will want to be sure that you are using a valid run as user and that it is defined in the control and major configuration manager. Okay, let me share with you some of these useful resources. This first article is a FAQ for the control and major deployment tool. Here you can find very useful information about how the tool works and some parameters that can be customized. The next article describes the solution for when an issue occurs uh, when you're trying to upgrade control M agents that are running on Windows 2008 or 2012. The last article describes a solution for an error that occurs uh, for control M agents that are running on Unix or Linux and, the, and that have not been installed in the user's home directory. Thank you for attending this presentation. We'd like to encourage you to provide feedback on the webinar and the ratings and feedback tab. Let us know what you think about the presentation, what topics you'd like to see us discuss in the future, or anything else you'd like for us to know. Also, we will be sending you a survey in the next couple of days. We will appreciate if you take some time to fill it, uh, fill it out and send us your answers. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Our past webinars can be viewed on BMC Communities, YouTube, and iTunes. Today's webinar will be posted there in a couple of days. Our next webinar topic will be troubleshooting controlling for databases issues. Now, let's jump to our Q&A session.